My name's Joe Hinkle. This training video is on a Hinkle controller web configuration. We're talking about status, which is this particular screen that I'm showing you right now. We're going to go over each of the details. Uh, the first line is obviously the time. That's the time that the controller is aware of. If that does not match your local time, then there's a setting over in miscellaneous settings to allow you to adjust that time. Uh, this gives you the CPU version. Now mine is zero right now because I'm working on a development uh, system and there's no such thing as a version on a development system. But this would be the software version of your main CPU. There's also a power CPU that's responsible for driving your pixels in your lights. Again, its version would be here. Mine is zero because I'm on a development system. There is a Wi-Fi CPU and its version number is here. The web version is the version of the web pages you're looking at. So as I modify the web pages associated with my web server, which is delivering all the content you see uh, via these settings, this is the version number that'll change. The second line, it's kind of a nerdy line. It's identifying different um, uh, counters associated with hardwired internet connection. So this is identifying how many over the wired ethernet, how many messages were received, how many messages were transmitted, um, no buffer available, that should be zero. Uh, there are buffers associated with transmission and reception and if there's no buffers available, then that means I'm going to drop one. So if that's not zero, then I'm running out of buffers and something needs to be looked at. And these are just buffers associated the EMAC. Uh, the EMAC is the actual device within the CPU that's responsible for acquiring and transmitting Ethernet messages. And these are just buffer counters. Temperature. I'm actually con uh, uh, measuring the temperature. Uh, the microprocessor has the ability on board to convey its internal core temperature. Uh, long range boards, this happens to be a Hinkspix Pro board, which means there's three driver boards possibly attached, and I have all three. There's a long range board. The long range boards do not supply temperature, so it's going to show as zero. The spy boards. Spy boards are those boards that have the green Euro connectors that you directly connect uh, your pixels to, your pixel strings. Uh, spy board one is saying it's at 59 degrees and spy board two is at 60. Voltages, I actually calculate, reverse calculate the internal core voltage of the CPU to make sure that it's within limits. Long range board, it's looking at an external power supply of 11.6. The spy boards are at 11.9 and 12.2. This area down here, it's all zero right now because we don't have any E131 transmissions. If we were looking at the status page, let's say Y, X lights or LOR or some other computer was sending out E131 messages and our controller was picking them up, then these counters would identify for each universe, this would be universe one, how many packets of that universe that it received and how many errors associated with that universe packet was acquired. So hopefully you're going to see zero in all the errors. If you're, if you're seeing errors, that means you probably got a networking issue someplace. Now, it's a static, so once it comes up, this doesn't change. If you'd like to see it change, you click Auto Update. And if you notice, Auto Update, now it's changing at a one second rate. You can tell by the time. So all of this is changing every second, and all of these counters would be changing every second. So if we had a live 
uh, show that was being transmitted and we're receiving, you would see all these counters move. Now, what's the purpose of looking at the counters? Well, let's say your show has certain elements that may be lagging at times. You want to know where that lag is coming from. A lot of lag happens to be due to possible network transmission messages being dropped or whatever. That's the purpose of these counters down here. So if everything is going smoothly, each of these universe counters should have numbers that are pretty close to one another, maybe off by one or two, because the messages are coming in every 50, 25 milliseconds, which is either 20 or 40 times a second, but we're only updating it every second. So they should be pretty close. But if you see uh, hundreds of differences in uh, message counts for different universes, you need to look at your network. So we're going to shut that off. And that concludes this training video on the status page of a Hingle Controller web configuration.